Do you ever wonder why you can understand English very well, but when it comes to speaking, you find yourself at a loss for words? You're not alone. I completely understand that many of you feel this way. And in this video, I'm going to help you understand the real problems of why this happens and then give you my best English speaking practice methods that I've shared successfully many times with my clients for years. Hi, I'm Grant. And if you do know me, I'm really happy you're back to watch this video. If you don't know me, I'm a business English confidence coach and I'm on a mission to help millions of you become confident English speakers. As I've said many times, I'm not an English teacher and I'm not an English teacher. I'm a confidence coach. And I've been coaching non-native English-speaking business executives to communicate confidently for many years because I want to give you a gift. And the gift is freedom, to be free, to do whatever it is you want to do. And you need confident English to do that. I'm a confidence coach. For this video, let's look at these two main reasons why you can understand easily, but you can't speak English fluently. In my mind, there's two really big problems here. And I think you have to really understand these problems. And the first problem is you spent so much time learning English. And most of this learning English has come from reading and writing and spending a lot of time reading and writing and being in classes or ESL school or different programs for English. And so much of it is focused on reading and writing. But to become a fluent English speaker, we need to focus on speaking and listening. And to use a language, there's lots of studies that show that a language is used about 75% of the time for speaking and listening. And that means it's used 25% for reading and writing. But most schools and ESL programs and, and even lots of teachers, and don't hate me when I say things about teachers. I love teachers. But this is the way lots of the programs are set up in that they're all based on reading and writing. Instead, a language is used 75% of the time for speaking and listening. So you need to practice speaking and listening and not reading and writing. We need to stop focusing so much on learning English. And that's kind of part two of the big problem here. So, the, the, again, the first part was they were just spending too much time reading and writing and not enough time speaking and listening. So the second big problem is there's been a, there's just a lot of focus on grammar and all these grammar rules. And then when you start speaking, people are trying to use all these rules and, and be so perfect in their speaking. Well, if I'm focused on trying to be perfect in my speaking, I, no way am I going to speak confidently. No way am I going to speak fluently. I made a video about this, and the video is a true story. And the video is called, You Don't Need Perfect English. It's a really popular video because it's a true story that most of you can relate to. I really recommend, if you haven't seen this video, you can see it up here. And watch this video because it gives you the idea that you don't need to be perfect to be able to speak English. So those are our two big problems. Just this focus on so much reading and writing and then focusing on trying so hard to be perfect and using all these grammar rules and everything else. So you've learned a lot of English. You understand English when people speak. That's not the problem. But let's focus on how to solve this problem. How can you speak fluently? How can you speak confidently? I think there's three main areas here to build confidence. And I work on these three areas with my clients all the time. And those three areas are vocabulary, especially vocabulary that means something to you, to your work or to your life. You need those vocabulary words. The second one is pronunciation. If, you don't, if you're not confident pronouncing this vocabulary, you're never going to use it, ever. If you're scared about pronouncing it, you're not going to, it doesn't matter how much English you know, you're never going to use it. So we need vocabulary. We need pronunciation. And once you have those two, 
then you can start speaking with feeling because now you have some confidence. So we put these three things together, vocabulary, pronunciation, and speaking with feeling. Now this gives you the tools and the framework of how to speak English fluently. And you can all do this. It works really well. Let's go into a little bit more detail. Join me as I kind of go into a, a deeper process about this. And we'll start with the first part of this, which is vocabulary. As I said before, you need some vocabulary that really fits your work. If you're trying to improve your confidence in speaking and you're a doctor and you're practicing I don't know, engineering speaking, it's not going to help you. You need a bunch of doctor terminology and become confident in, in all this things that you would talk about in the medical field. That's the vocabulary you need. And then you need a system of how to make this vocabulary work. It's not just, okay, here's a word. Here's the definition. Great. I got it. Go to the next one. That's not what's going to help your vocabulary. It's not what's going to help your confidence or help you speak fluently. So I've created a process called my deep learning vocabulary method. And what this is, is something that really works. We've got to go deeper into these vocabulary words. You find a word that's really great for you and you want to start using that word. Then you need to work on the pronunciation of that word so that you feel confident using it. So you're pronouncing it the right way. Third one is, let's find an example of how you can use this word in a sentence somewhere or maybe multiple sentences. Use this new vocabulary word many different ways. Then you need to say it all out loud. You need to speak. You need to get these words to come out of your mouth. So you're going to use them. And that's the deep learning vocabulary process. And that's what I want you to be able to focus on and do. Because if you don't say these words, you're never going to become a confident speaker. It's never going to happen. You need to speak. That's part of the process, my deep learning process, getting you to speak. So that's the first part of this. Now let's move to the second part. And the second part, as I talked about, is pronunciation. I'm sure you know lots and lots of English. But I also know that you know this much English and you use this much English. Why? Parts of it are because you're not confident in your vocabulary, like we talked about with the first problem here. But the second part is, I'm not confident saying certain words. Enthusiasm. Oh, I don't like that word. And I'm, so I'm not going to use enthusiasm. And then, then there's all these other words I'm not going to use. Throughout. I'm not going to use that word. I'm not confident saying it. Perseverance. Oh, my God, that's so hard. I can't say perseverance. And so you might know all these words, but you're not confident pronouncing them, so you only use this many words. And then you can't speak fluently, and you wonder why. Work on your pronunciation. And you're working on your pronunciation to make your communication easier for everybody else. And I've got the greatest tool in the world for you, for your pronunciation. It's called Elsa Speak. There's a link to Elsa Speak in every video description I make. I really want you to try it. You can try it for free. Use Elsa Speak because it's based on AI, but it was AI before AI was cool. And think about AI. It's learning something from you. So in this case, you sign up for Elsa Speak, get it on your get it on your phone, on an app, and you speak. You follow the instructions. You set this up the right way. What you're doing is you're sharing with Elsa the way you speak. The way you make different sounds. And Elsa learns all this. And then Elsa turns it around and says, okay, I've got lessons for you. I want to help you work on all of this. So you speak then. You follow Elsa's lead and let Elsa give you the, <laughs> the lessons that you really need. Don't tell Elsa what you need. Let Elsa do its thing. It's a great program. And then Elsa gives you feedback helps you make the different sounds, helps you get the confidence. Once you have the vocabulary and you have the confidence, you're almost there in being able to speak fluently. So give Elsa a try. Try the free trial period. But really, if you're going to use Elsa and you're serious about making your confident speaking happen here in English, you got to buy it. 
<laughs> There's just no two ways around it and, and really use it because then you're going to get a great benefit out of this thing. The third part of this is that you need to speak with some feeling when you're speaking English. Most of the time, people are very scared and they're not confident. And in your native language, you might be saying, oh, today, it's the most important day of my life. I can't wait. But you start speaking English and it's one hand here, one hand here. Today is the most important day of my life. Oh, there's no communication here. We can't speak fluently unless we have some feeling. People never remember what you said. People always remember how you made them feel. So this is really the secret part to me of being able to speak fluently. Yes, you worked on your vocabulary and you started building your confidence. You added to your confidence by really working on your pronunciation for six months. Then, or even during this process, you started to speak with feeling. You put those three things together, you've solved this problem. Now you can not only understand all the English, but you can speak fluently. And you can do this confidently. It really, really works. So let's summarize. <laughs> the reason you're in this situation where you can understand, but you can't speak, is because there's been so much focus on reading and writing and not enough focus on speaking and listening. And the, and the second part of this is that we been working so much on grammar rules, try to speak perfectly, not make mistakes. When we do those two things, we just can't speak fluently. But what we can do is work on this. And as I've talked about, we can work on our vocabulary. We can really work on it through a deep learning method. We can work on our pronunciation. We can use the best tool there is right now. It's called Elsa Speak. Combine those two things. You've built your confidence speaking English. We add the third, and this is the magic key to me, being able to speak with feeling. Feel English. Then you'll start speaking fluently. You add those three things together, you found your magic to being able to communicate fluently and confidently. And that's the way this works. I know it works. I've used this method so many times with so many clients. Please try this. What I really want you to do is that I've had a lot of feedback and a lot of comments in these videos. And what I want you to do is to start sharing the different problems you've had and sharing the things that you've tried that have created success for you. Or maybe even things that didn't work very well for you and we can talk about them. But put those thoughts and put those experiences into the comment section of these videos so others can read them, not just me. Others can read them because everybody needs to know that you're not alone. You got other people that have the same problem. You can help each other. That's what I want you to do. Put these comments in, really try to help each other make this work. I know this works. Try it. Have fun. Let me know what happens. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.